Good morning girls, it is Effie here and I am 22 weeks and one day today. It is March the 12th. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I've got a list of stuff on the phone to talk about. So I'm going to just start off. Um, the first thing, I would like to congratulate Jody, and she's one of the girls that has gone through IVF. She had her little girl yesterday, Vienna, at 10.18am. New Zealand time, so very exciting. We haven't seen photos of her yet, as I think she still might be in neonatal care. Um, but yeah, congratulations to her and Mark. And yeah, I can't wait to see photos of her from the sounds of it. She sounds very gorgeous. So yeah, uh, okay, let's see what else I've got over here. Um, so last week I was saying that I've got to go in for a scan again to check my cervical length and that will be done on Wednesday morning. So and they will also do a fetal growth scan at the same time. So I get to see Sophia again. And yeah, I always love seeing Sophia. So yeah, I can't wait for that. That's at nine o'clock in the morning. And I finish work at like six. So I won't be able to update on it probably till Thursday morning. If I do it, or if there's not much to report on, I'll just leave it for the next vlog. But, um, yeah, and, but the woman at reception is a total bitch. Why do you need to have another cervical length scan if it was fine the last time? Far out. Right. I pay these people over 200 bucks. You shouldn't question why. It's paying your check, isn't it? It's paying your wages. So, yeah, can't believe that. But, um, okay, I'm trying to think what else to talk about next. Okay, I had acupuncture on Saturday, as I do every second week. The next time I have it's actually on a Tuesday, because the Saturday fortnight she's got her antenatal class. But um, I was telling her how I'm getting pain in the back, and I was describing it when it's happening and everything, and she's called it sacroiliac joint pain, or SIJ pain for short. And she's referred me, or she hasn't referred me, she recommended an osteopath. And I will see him on the 31st of March for that. So, yeah, so, um, yeah, it's something to do with the pelvic bone or something. Apparently very common in pregnancy, not to worry about it. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. I um, also keep on telling her about this irritable bowel syndrome pain. It just doesn't seem to go away with the acupuncture and I'm just overtaking Bosco pan every day so um she doesn't know why the acupuncture isn't working on it I mean I've had IBS since I was about 15 years old and I'm just over it and this was my worst fear to get it in pregnancy because you can't just pop on a heat pack on the tummy and just deal with it or anything so um, I'm just taking Bosco pan fought for it what I'm thinking of doing is probably changing my diet again, which I don't really want to do at this stage because I find whenever I change something, I get really hungry. And then because, you know, at the stage of pregnancy that I am, I get busy spells sometimes. So I don't really want to change that, but we'll see what happens there. So, um, and she said the osteopath might know something about it too. So, um, yeah, fingers crossed to hopefully work it out. Okay, what else? Been sick again, so I've got like a sniffly nose this moment. So I get sick Thursday, Friday. So um, I got Mark to just feel the repeat that I had, and I'm currently on antibiotics again, and I feel a lot better. So that's good. Like on Friday, I was really tired, and now I'm not. My eyes are only red because I've been in the shower. But, um, yeah, that's all been good. Um, what else have we got here? Yeah, yeah. I've got baby flies I've got to show you. And I'll show you them in a minute. Um, on Saturday I had Mark. He went to work on Saturday, which is good. It's the first time. We've been together seven years in June. And this is the first time ever in that time that he's worked on a Saturday. Apparently before he met me. He used to get heaps of work on a Saturday, but um, yeah, there was work on Saturday, which is good. He worked 7 till 12. He actually said it was good because, um, you know, it goes quicker than obviously on a weekday. So hopefully that is stuff he can continue in the future, which means just a little bit of extra money coming in. And yeah, I've 
this pay when that part comes from I've got to put it into Sophia's bank account. But um yeah, it's good to have the extra money there if you can do that every Saturday or every second Saturday. Just depends on the workload. Oh, whoop, put the phone went on to stay by. Um okay. Alright, talk about the baby shower now that I'm gonna have. I'm gonna do it on the third of June. It's gonna be a Sunday. And um, I've had my brother's girlfriend's mum already offered to make the food. She only lives down the road. I've got my friends, two of my friends, who said they'll help me with the baby shower. So organisation and stuff. At the moment, what I'm trying to figure out is what kind of um, bombonere, favours, thank you presents, whatever you want to call them, should I give to the people that come. Um, I don't want to do the whole dummy thing, you know, hey, buy the glass dummy, because I'm really against dummies, so, um, I don't want to have that. I don't want to do chocolates, because I want to make these presents in advance and just put them away till June, so it's one less thing to worry about. So if you've got any ideas, let me know. I don't know what the theme of the baby shower will be yet. Um, seeing as I'm into mini mouse and baby learning shoes, probably something around there, but not quite sure yet. So yeah, and um, I was actually debating about, um, okay, this is totally different now, back to like hospital stuff and crap. Um, I've been wearing masks, pyjamas this week, it's starting to get cold here, you know, we had like a bit of flooding and everything past week, and um, I was wearing his pyjamas, they're so comfortable, and I'm thinking of wearing them to the hospital. So it's a it's a single room. There's no one else in the room. So I don't see the problem with that. If the nurse comes in while I'm breastfeeding her or while I've said everything before, I don't really see the point of spending sixty bucks on maternity pajamas. They're really the pink. Not really into that. So um yeah, I don't wanna have pajamas like that. So um I might just take my pajamas, buy more and then he can have them after. Yeah. All right. What else? I think it's time for the baby bite. Oh, I've got another video uploaded at the moment. It's the Doppler. I had a. I put her up this morning because um, it wasn't working on Friday. I think it was because I needed new batteries, but I could not find her heartbeat. But um, so I uh, what you call it? Bought new batteries from Audi on the weekend, and I did it this morning and recorded it for you. So yeah, so that's uploaded at the moment. We're supposed to upload it from the phone, but for some reason, and I know a lot of people have been complaining about it too, having trouble viewing videos from YouTube from the phone and everything, and yeah, it wouldn't let me upload the video from the phone, so I had to put the video onto the computer, and now it's decided to do 3 megabytes, it's like nearly 100 megabytes, so it's uploaded at the moment. So yeah, uh, is that it? Before I get on to the baby boy, I think that was it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, symptoms. I haven't even got the symptoms this week. That's stupid. Um, nothing much. I haven't really felt much tickles or anything until about Friday, Saturday this week. And my acupuncturist said probably she's going for a throat spurt. So um, that's why I haven't felt her. Um, my tummy just gets really weird near the bottom. And... Yeah, I feel stuff in there, but no physical kick, like, you know how you see those videos on YouTube, what are they, boom, 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 no, nothing like that yet. Uh, what else, I think I'm starting to get, like, heartburn, it's just, yeah, it feels, my throat gets really weird, and it's before I actually eat. Um, skin has sort of settled down, I'm currently 64.1 kilos, so I weighed myself this morning, so... I've put on a total of nearly five, or well, you could put it as six, but um, that's including the kilo that I lost through vomiting. So um, five or six kilos, whatever you want to consider it, somewhere around there I've put on so far. Um, and yeah, all right, let's go through these baby vibes. So I think I mentioned last week that um, Ali was going to have a special, and I was going to go and have a look, and I did. And what I did was I actually bought clothes for next year 
because the double zero is equal to theta this vector, which is brought right in the middle of vector. So I thought just to divide that couple of sizes up and have it for next vector. So um, let's go. All right. So here's what a philosophy top size is. Right? There. So that's size one. And here's the same top but in a cream colour. So as you can see it's got like a little bow. Wait. There. So it's got a little bow there. It's the same size. So I say put a little pair well, away for this webcam to clear itself up. Okay. I bought these little pair of jeans with little bird at the back. Um they are a size two. First off, someone else grabbed the size 1. And also, the only difference between the 1 and the 2 seems to be the length. So, you can easily roll them up. They're cheap jeans, so they're very easy to roll up. And plus, they've got the adjustable thing inside anyway. So, um, yeah, I've got them in a 2. Then, what else did I get from Audi? I'm trying to find I should have been more organised in these things. Let's see. Okay. Alright, I've got stockings. Alright, so I've got pair size zero. So we've got pair. So it's black and pink. And then I also got these ones. And these are a one. So, yeah, I like the stripes. Mark doesn't. Oh, no. Oh, what's it going to do? So, there we go. That's from Audi on Wednesday. On Saturday from Audi, I had the comforter set. Oh, that's what I forgot to do. I'll let you know after. Okay. And um, I'm into the whole owl thing at the moment. It's really popular here in Australia. This whole owl thing is going crazy. It's pretty contradictive, really. I mean, you get owl stuff, and owls are actually awake at night, and you want to make it sleep. But um, this is the pillow. It's pretty cute. And we'll just move this video. Oh, that up, sorry. So, okay. so this looks like that's the right way. Yeah. So I hope that shows you the whole video. So yeah, so uh, that cost me twenty dollars. This one. So that's it with the Audi buyers. And another thing, when I was at acupuncture, there was this. We get put into a room, like it's a large room, and it's like a hospital kind of thing. She like she puts the curtain in between. And how there was this other woman there, and um. I get out of the room back into the thing where I pay and I'm like, oh, owls, like someone had put an owl gift bag there and she showed me what this client had made her for the baby and oh my god, I fell in love with it, it was like this owl plush toy and this owl pram liner and apparently this client that was in the room with me had made it, so I'm like, oh, if I pay her, will she make me something and she went in there and asked her and she said, yeah, no problem. So um, I'm going to get an owl plush toy and a taggy as well. So I can't wait to get them and it's only cost me 60 bucks. So that's really good. Okay, what else have I got? Where's the bag gone? I've got the bag. I swear my videos, look at this, it's already at 14 minutes. That's shocking. Um, through the online garage sale thing this week, I have gotten this little Adidas skirt. That cost me $4, size 2. Or skirt, sport, we call them here because it's a skirt, but it's got pants underneath. So, also from there, I got these little ballet straps. I'm trying to find them. them. So, the size ones, so got these, and we've got these ones. And then there's slippers that I've got, which I was about to show you. I got for my friend's little girl. But the way that they're made, they wouldn't fit her, even though they were a size big for her. So I've got to try them with my one when she's two sizes away from here at this. So they're just Winnie the Pooh slippers, the size 5. 
and as you can see, it's because of that thing there, it just won't go in, but they flash, so that's pretty cute, it's not in from the bag, yep, and then my friend, when she came over on the weekend, she gave me a couple of stuff, she gave me this dress because someone got it for her daughter for Christmas and she tried exchanging it but there wasn't anything she liked so she thought she'd ask me if I wanted it and of course I fell in love with it it's a cute little party dress, it's size 1 and yesterday when I saw her again she gave me her old nappy bag which is actually a backpack which is good because I like backpacks so yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, my friends, those two friends that came over have told me to stop buying stuff because it's a baby shower. People will buy you stuff and I've got heaps. What I'm going to do with clothes, if she's on a border of a size, so if I put on like a size zero and it's like just fitting her, I'm going to skip that piece of clothing and just go up to the one. So that way I can either sell them or save them for another baby. Um, yeah, because I'm not going to be one of those parents that tries to fix it with the size that just fits. I think that's a bit slap on the baby, and you're not going to get much wear out of it. So yeah, okay, time for my belly shot. Sweet. She's at the front, there she's at the side, and there she's at the side again. Okay, so she's growing, she's busy growing. So yeah, so um, like I said, I've got a video uploaded at the moment. I don't know which one of these two will upload first, probably that one. Because let me just quickly check how long it's got. I'll let you know. Come on, let's change over. It's got about 12 minutes remaining on it. So, um, yeah, so look out for this. Oh, well, you're watching this video. But look out for the other video as well. And, um, yeah, thank you for watching. And I'll update again next week or hopefully this week. Like I said, it depends on what they say in their um, cervical length scan. So, yeah, I'll let you know what happens. Thank you for watching. Bye, girls.